सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल सो गाइज टूडे आई टीच यू न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ वी एफ एक्स एंड कम्पोजिटिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग आफ्टर इफेक्ट एंड ब्लेंडर गाइज आई क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ बाउंसिंग बॉल एनिमेशन गाइड्स आई यूज लाइक अ टेन थाउजेंड बाउंसिंग बॉल इफेक्ट ओके सो गाइज न्याव दैट्स माई रियली कूल एनिमेशन एंड गाइज न्याव आई शो यू माई फाइनल रेंडर प्रिव्यू ओके सो गाइज न्याव आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ इफेक्ट कंपोजिशन एंड गाइज न्याव गो टू ऑन आफ्टर इफेक्ट Click on After Effect and guys, click on here. Guys, import your footage. Guys, you can download this footage. Link in description. So select and import like this. See, guys, that's my simple footage, video footage. So guys, preview check. Yeah, it's looking really good, right? Okay, so guys, now guys, stop and guys, I change some color correction. So guys, see, that's my effect and guys. and guys effect guys use curve tool select and guys apply drag and drop on main com like this guys little bit increase brightness and contrast yeah good see guys that's my simple footage and guys right click pre com and move all attribute check and press okay and now guys select your com and go to on track and see guys that's my track camera check and go to on advance and see guys that's my detail analysis check and guys go to on preview go to on first frame yeah that's my tracking okay so guys my tracking is finished see guys that's my tracker points that's my tracker points and now guys firstly select your flow tracker like this and guys right click see guys that's my set ground plane origin check yeah and guys one more time create solid camera check yeah and guys now i use this time second tracker see so guys that's my second tracker and select this one and guys right click and use solid this one create solid check yeah guys this time i use two tracker and guys preview check yeah that's my tracker plane okay so guys now i use this time blender and guys see guys that's my add on I use A E to Blender. That's my add-on. So guys, select your assets and press Delete key. So guys, now see guys, that's my flow. And guys, go to on here, transform. And guys, select first four position and copy. So press Control C and go to on Blender. And see guys, that's my create plane check. Yeah. See guys, that's my flow. And guys, now again go to on this one After Effect. and guys use second this one that's my second front face and guys copy so guys one more time paste yeah and guys go to back see guys that's my second tracker and guys now i import camera so guys go to on here camera and guys go to on here like this guys see that's my transform and camera check so guys select first position and orientation and guys see that's my camera check and press zero guys go to on zero frame and guys now a little bit change this one keyframe like i starting on one frame like this yeah and guys lastly select your this one that's my camera and see guys that's my default focal length 50 mm and guys again go to on here and double click on this camera and see guys that's my focal length copy so press control c and again blender and control v enter yeah see guys that's my composition and guys now i import background image same so guys click on here and guys now i have this one that's my footage yeah and guys go to down guys opacity 100% and preview check yeah see guys that's my simple composition right and guys now select this one uh, guys rotate your footage rotate like this yeah and guys now increase scale size scale size increase yes guys see that's my global to use local and go to back yeah much better 
and move more yes right see guys that's my plane that's my flow so guys see that's my flow so guys rename select and like a flow enter and see guys that's my front face so guys this time increase closer and guys select guys scale size increase like this so guys click on here and go to on edit mode right align so guys click on here like this and guys go to on here yeah and guys on my right side like this yeah good so go to on back yes see guys that's my simple see guys that's my simple plane and guys click on here and guys now i increased extrude so guys go to on one more time edit mode select this one edge i select edge like this and like this guys extrude so press e and s and guys increase scale size like this yeah and guys right click click on here separate loose check and see guys that's my two default plane and first one this one delete so guys delete yeah i have this one plane yeah that's my simple plane and now guys select this one that's my face select and guys press e and guys extrude like this yeah that's it guys right see guys that's my composition right it's really simple okay so guys go to on camera and guys go to on back so guys go to back and click on here yeah and guys camera check yeah see guys that's my composition right it's looking good okay so guys now this time i apply plane on side one so guys copy press control c and v and rotate rotate like this same 90 and guys go to on here like this yeah that's my plane yeah it's good and guys go to on camera okay so guys all is good that's my simple composition and now guys this time i apply cylinder for guys particles i use this time cylinder and guys increase cylinder radius so guys see that's my cylinder and guys depth i will change radius increase and guys see that's my segments like a uh, hundred is good for me actually like a 64 yeah okay so guys go to on here here and guys press 7 that's my top view panel so guys here go to on mate and guys up like this yeah see guys that's my like a hole okay so guys closer and guys now this time i apply hole so guys here and guys edit mode edit mode select face select this one and press delete key yeah and guys click on here and press delete yeah see guys that's my cylinder and guys next one go to on again edit mode select this one face select and guys closer select this one edge and holding alt key and click yeah and increase scale size so guys this time press e and z increase like this and guys increase scale size so press s letter yeah create shape like this and press 7 and guys edit mode is good so guys go to on here yeah see guys that's my composition right it's really simple okay so guys now go to an object mode and guys now i create whole effect so i use boolean tool so guys select your this one that's my plane and click on here and use bold tool boolean this one and guys see that's my object so use this one that's my cylinder check yeah guys i create whole 
See guys, that's my hole. And guys, now go to on here and apply like this. Okay, so guys, next one, it's duplicate on here, this part, it's not correct. So guys, this time object mode is good. And guys, select this one. And see guys, that's my cylinder and hide. So guys, see that's my extra part, delete. So guys, object, select and holding alt key click and press delete key yeah see guys that's my circle right it's really simple and guys see that's my cylinder and cylinder check right it's good and guys now right click shade smoother and guys i apply this time subdivision of actually solidifier solidifier check and thickness increase like a 0 0.2 is good yeah right see guys that's my really simple and cool effect okay so guys my composition is good and now this time i apply particles so guys use particle for use this time spare this one uv spare and guys oil is good segments uv spare yeah and guys i create new collection that's my like a particles enter and guys select your spare right click shade smoother so guys this time use array array check and guys count increase like a uh, six is good and guys factor good and one more time array and guys this time count like a six and guys factor zero and one enter and one more time array and guys six six and factor i like one yeah see guys that's my simple bunch of spare guys you can increase count is dependent on your work like a uh, 30 yeah see guys that's my simple objects right okay so guys now i apply this spare on here so guys press top view panel so hold press seven that's my shortcut command and guys go to an up like this yeah right see guys that's my simple position and guys now i create individually spare so guys this time i apply firstly material so guys see that's my spare and guys go to on shading so guys click on here create new material and guys i apply this time object info object info and guys second one i use color ramp color select this one that's my color ramp and guys random connect to this one and this color connect to base color okay so guys now and guys see that's my position yeah that's my color and guys now i change color so guys see that's my color so select this one guys apply randomly color like this and this one and guys now so see guys that's not working so guys i create individually spare okay so guys go to on here layout and see guys that's my spare guys array apply apply and apply yeah so guys select your spare and edit mode edit mode yeah so guys click on here that's my vertex right so guys press p that's my loose part check yeah see guys that's my all individually and guys now go to an object guys see that's my origin to geometry check yeah and one more time guys click on here yeah see guys that's my different different random colors right and guys one more time go to on shading and guys i change color so guys i use this time this one color and select blue yeah much better see guys that's my colors beautiful and guys i change roughness 0 0.3 is good yeah that's it guys right see guys that's my beautiful colors and guys now this time i apply rigid body so guys see that's my first pair so guys select first pair and i apply rigid body tag and see guys that's my type use active 
and guys see that's my shape i use spherical because that's my spare and guys see that's my guys i change this one that's my friction so guys friction like a 0.2 is good and bounce increase like a 0.5 yeah and guys like a 6 is also good right see guys that's my friction 0.2 and bounce i like 0.6 and guys now guys this time i apply this setting on all spare so guys select this one that's my selection and guys now go to last holding shift key and select all and go to an object and guys see that's my rigid body and see guys that's my copy from active check yeah right guys i apply same setting on all rigid body effect yeah and guys now i apply this time collision effect so guys select this one that's my cylinder and rigid body check guys type i use passive and see guys that's my shape i use mesh yeah and guys see that's my friction friction zero point like a two is good and bounce zero point five yeah and guys select this one that's my window active to change passive and shape i use this one and bounce i like a like a 0 0.2 and friction 0 0.2 and guys same select this one and passive guys shape i use mesh and friction 0 0.2 0 0.2 and lastly guys select this one rigid body passive and mesh and 0 0.2 and bounce i like 0 0.2 yeah that's it guys right that's my simple setting and guys now go to on here okay so guys go to an up and guys click on here that's my frame okay so guys now i change last frame so guys go to on last frame and guys click guys see that's my last frame 446 446 enter and guys click on here and change gravity guys see that's my default gravity is minus 9.7 i change like a minus 5 yeah and guys rigid body world so guys go to down and catch a see guys that's my catch a and and guys 446 and see guys that's my bake all dynamic check yeah see guys that's my default baking guys take a little bit time okay so guys my baking is finished now press zero and guys go to on back guys go to back and go play yeah yes see guys that's my beautiful animation it's looking really good okay so guys now i change some setting on this one so, so guys select this one that's my frame okay so guys delete all bake check and guys see that's my edit mode so guys select edge select this one and go to on top like this yeah and object so guys select this one and go to on up yeah and guys now this time guys go to back here so guys select and guys select this particle and right click select object and guys little bit up like this okay so guys change position okay so guys now select all spare and go to on up like this yes and guys press 7 so guys go to on here a little bit closer see guys that's my position and guys select this one that's my cylinder and guys go to on edit mode one more time edit mode so guys select front one and guys go to on here like this yeah that's it guys go to on object and guys press zero so guys now guys this time i apply material on this one so guys select your this one material for material guys double click and click yeah i apply two materials so guys first one okay so guys now i also change render setting so guys render setting i use cycle and divide gpu check 
yes and guys maxam 512 enter uh, but guys that's my only total pass i use 256 gut so guys go to down and film and guys see that's my transparent check okay so guys now click on here and see guys that's my frame rate so after effect see guys that's my default frame rate 24 fps so guys i use same 24 fps and that's my output so guys i use go to on desktop and guys i create new folder like a render and take any file name yes guys format i use this time png format file okay so guys now go to on here and this one guys create new material so guys surface i use this one that's my hold out effect check yes and guys now click on here edit mode and guys select this one so face check select select and guys select this one and click on here and create new material check and guys assign check yeah and guys now object mode guys i change color like a blue like a 0 0.6 and 1 saturation 1 and value 1 and guys roughness 0 0.2 is good yeah yeah that's my composition right and guys select this one so guys click on here that's my plane so guys visibility and see guys that's my shadow catcher check guys same this one that's my flow and shadow catcher check yeah and guys now this time guys i apply hdr image so guys for image so guys click on here that's my world color guys i have lots of hdr image so guys open and hdr check yes see guys that's my different different style of hdr image so apply and guys click on here yeah see guys that's my final composition and guys preview check yeah okay so guys now next one i apply one more time go to on here and guys down and see guys that's my bail all dynamic check yes and guys click on here and one more time preview check yeah see guys that's my beautiful bouncing ball animation okay so guys see that's not correct yeah it's not out of it's out of frame okay so guys go to back and guys now i change some setting on this one so guys select this one and click on here and see guys that's a bouncing animation like a 0 0.1 and increase friction like a 0, point, 0 0.1 is good yeah and guys select this one that's my spare so see guys that's my bouncing like a 0 0.3 and friction 0 0.1 yeah and guys select your first pair and guys i apply same setting on all spare select and go to on here rigid body and apply copy from active check yes and guys this time go to on back and guys now i change guys individually spacing so guys select this one and guys little bit up select this one and up like this yeah right see guys that's my three bunch of cubes and guys now again go to on here and guys go to last and delete bake all check and bake all dynamic check and guys now press camera yeah all is good so guys i increase this scale size so guys I edit mode and guys select this one edge select this one and increase scale size like this yeah and guys now again this time again click on here last time and guys bake all dynamic check yeah guys my baking is finished now select this one and guys flow increase scale size like this and guys preview check that's my animation guys see that's my final work yeah see guys that's looking really good and guys stop and click on here that's my final render preview and guys select this one that's my plane and yeah all is good so guys click on here yeah much better right see guys that's my beautiful spares and guys now next one i apply light so guys see that's my light guys this time i like sunlight so guys add 
and use sunlight and guys go to back go to back and guys go to on here so up and guys press 7 and press 7 so guys click on go to on here and rotate guys rotate your light like this and guys rotation change like this yeah and guys i change guys i change color guys color is good strength 1.5 is good and angle that's for my shadow 20 and click on here that's my simple shadow effect see guys that's a beautiful shadow it's looking really beautiful and guys click on here guys strength like uh, 1.2 is also good yeah much better okay so guys one and guys now this time i apply here light so guys click on here and guys i take plane so guys go to on back and i take plane guys increase plane size guys rotate and guys scale size change so and rotate like a 90 and guys now click on here wireframe and press 7 so guys go to on here like this i change rotation also so go to on up and increase scale size and guys press 7 so guys closer closer like this and guys again go to on here that's my rotation change rotation change yeah see guys that's my rotation and now guys this time i apply array effect array so guys select your plane and go to on here and select this one plane so guys i apply array effect so guys count is good increase and factor change like this like a two is good and guys go to back go to on here and count increase yeah press zero and guys little bit up so guys click on here yeah much better and guys closer yes good so guys now i apply material so guys click on here and guys i apply animation material like this and strength i like two is good yeah that's it guys and preview check yeah see guys that's my final work it's looking really good and guys stop and guys now click on here i use one frame render okay so guys my render setting is good and guys close and see guys that's my cylinder and cylinder check yeah that's my cylinder and guys now again we'll go to on here render setting guys i create only one frame render yes see guys that's my final render and guys now go to on here and guys i go to on composite and compositing check and guys this time some compositing so guys i use press shift a and like a movie clip apply movie clip and guys apply same texture so guys vfx apply same texture and guys now the last this time i use like a alpha i use alpha over and guys now i second time and third time i use viewer like this yeah okay so guys now uncheck this one and guys image to image check and this one image check and guys now select this one alpha over image check this one compositing and viewer check yeah see guys that's my final composition right it's looking really good press v that's my composition and guys yeah all is good so guys layout so guys go to on here yeah all render settings good and guys max and like a 512 enter and yeah all is good and guys now click on here go to back and render and render animation check yeah that's it guys okay so guys that's it my final work is finished that's my beautiful final work and guys now you can download this all texture and guys clip 
link in description and guys second one you can download project file from my website it's free thank you